Welcome to the first ever 8K quality video here on Real Home Recording. So, I figured I'd record this one at a super high quality because it's going to show off a lot of different things that I have, including a pile of dust. So let's get started because I don't know how long I can record in 8K with this camera. So, first of all, a MIDI cable. By the way, this is just random stuff that I have for different recordings. And, um, you know, I have it just in case I need it. A lot of times I don't use any of this stuff, but sometimes I do. Anyway, so Hosa is a, a very cheap MIDI cable. And that's about it. SPL meter from, I believe, Galaxy Audio. Yes, Galaxy Audio. I'm trying to center it. So SPL meter, sound pressure level, very important for testing equipment, getting equipment set up properly, all that good stuff. And also I'm going to be using it in another upcoming video where I, uh, well, I'll keep that a secret. This microphone is my favorite microphone in my entire collection. It is the Marshall Electronics MXL 603S. That was modified by Michael Jolly. I'll show you guys. I'll open it up for you. Hold on. So here's the little brochure that Michael Jolly sends you. Well, back when he actually did make modifications to these mics. And it really did improve the sound a pretty good amount. I don't regret upgrading it at all. I recorded this most recently with an acoustic guitar recording. It also sounds really good as a interview microphone for sit down interviews with one person. Just an excellent quality microphone. And uh, I hope it continues to last well into my golden years. And because there's no edits, I'm going to just, oh, I'm going to keep trying to talk. I can't edit this because I don't have a computer that's capable of doing 8K video and rendering it at a relatively quick speed. Um, I usually don't get this paper out. There we go. And then next. This is a speaker that somebody bought for me for Christmas and I have never used it. That's kind of a mean thing to say, but it's true. Uh, I will one day try it. It's a Bluetooth speaker. It's probably better than this one, which I'll show you. So this one is also a Bluetooth speaker, but because, I don't know, it was easy to... Oh, was it not? oh that's why. I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. So this one I use just as like a sound check and this one probably sounds better because it's bigger I don't know I'll, I'll check it out one day I guess I need to right <laughs> that's the off sound okay this I use quite often because it's a pop filter for this microphone which I take to different events basically anytime it's going to be noisy which is I would say 99 times out of 100, you're recording in terrible environments. So I, rec I record with this as the windscreen because this, this pop, the built-in pop filter is not good enough to prevent plosives. And if you're not familiar with this microphone, um, well, let's just say you can't buy them anymore used, which is a shame, but I do believe they have a newer model available. But the ND767A from Electro Voice, awesome microphone. It's intended for stage vocals, but you know, it sounds it just sounds good in general. Actually, if you watch any of the AES 2018 videos, that was the microphone I was using. Okay, this is just a short XLR cable, um, about ten feet maybe. That's all that is. All right, hold up. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to put things as I go through them. 
Okay, mu the music bullet. I did a rev not a review, but a video about this a while ago. So there, there it is. And again, it, just like the Bluetooth speakers, this is just another like speaker test reference to check if my music's sounding good on, you know, anything from a nice home theater system, car speakers, and also these little like crappy Bluetooth speakers. And this one's not Bluetooth, but you know, it's tiny. It actually does sound pretty decent for what it is. Not as good as the uh, the Galaxy S9, but anyway, okay, so next up, I'll talk about this. So this is a three-switch attenuator. It's the Audio-Technica AT8202, which I've actually reviewed on this channel. And uh, the, the cool thing is it allows you to check or, or select between negative 30 decibels of attenuation, negative 20 decibels, and finally negative 10 and it does so without compromising on the quality. I believe this is made in Japan, if that matters to, to you guys. I'm sorry, it's made in Taiwan. Audio-Technica stuff is usually made in Japan, not this apparently. But uh, regardless of where it was made, it's a solid device, and uh, I don't use it too often, but I have it in my kit just in case I, I have to attenuate levels, like from a press box or something where the person doesn't know what they're doing. And uh, the audio is like way too hot. It's not broadcast level. I put that on, put it on negative 20, and I'm done. All right. This is dead center, so I may as well talk about it. This is the SE Electronics SE7 Matched Pair. I did a review of these, and I really, really like them. And actually, ew, what is that? <laughs> I'm sure that looked lovely in 8K. I don't know if that was like a dead bug or... Somebody blew their... I don't know, I don't know what that was. <laughs> anyway, um, great microphones. These are the ones that I recommend to uh, newer engineers who are just starting out. 